Hi everyone, it has been a really long time since my last video. Apologies there, life sort of got in the way. Um, I am back though and I've been trying out a ton of products and have a load of new things, well new to me, things that I love. So I decided that I would come back to YouTube with a video on my favourites. Now, it's a hit and miss sort of a video because there's, there's some things in here that have really not done it for me. But I'm just going to launch right in. The Balm Nude Tude. I fought this for so long. So many of you recommended it and I did not take heed and I regret it. Um, I, this should have been in my life for years. Um, it is nudes, and, but they're not boring nudes. They are fun. There's a kind of a gorgeous highlight shade. I absolutely love the seductive shade. It's gorgeous, but they are absolutely beautiful. I will link all the swatches in the info bar. It's well worth the money. I prefer it to any of my naked palettes. Um, I'm going to go to Tan. This is by Vita Liberata and it's the Naked Skin Tinted Mousse Tan. I'm wearing this at the moment. I'm actually quite pale at the moment, so this is doing a good job and it's a one night application. It is very fast drying, so you need to know what you're doing, um, a good quality mitt, and you need to work fast. Uh, but other than that, I can't fault it. It's actually not even that smelly. They're all smelly, but they're all, this is about the least smelliest one I have come across. My favourite brush, which is a teensy weensy bit icky, so I apologise because I use it all the time. It's a Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman, and this is the multitask brush. And man, do I multitask this. I use this for foundation, powder, concealer, highlighter, everything. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, it's really sunny um, and hot. And I got a little bit burned. I've been using the Nook, is it Nooks Paris? Um, the Refreshing After Sun Lotion for Face and Body. This is the most amazing smelling stuff. It's like a fragrance. I absolutely love it. Like I'd use it in winter and cover myself in it. But it really takes out down the redness and moisturizes your skin. Um, I should point out I was wearing SPF, but it was really hot and I'm really pale. Um, okay, oh, this stuff. Redken Blonde Idol Custom Tone. This is like one of those, it's an adjustable colour depositing conditioner. Um, and you use it, you can set the dial depending on how many weeks, you know, to, since you last got your highlights done. Um, and it deposits some colour and kind of stretches in between. It takes down any brassiness in your blondness, which is very important. If you're blonde, you know that is a nightmare. Fragrance Fijian Water Lotus by The Body Shop. I've had so many compliments on this. This is my favourite body shop fragrance so far. It's really fresh and it does actually make you think of like a tropical island or something. And it smells that way. <laughs> if you saw me applying that standing up, I usually squirt it and twirl into it. Okay. Um, oh, cheap product, which I have on at the moment. Um, it is, which I don't know if you can see in the lights. It is Head Over Heels blush, cream blush from Topshop, which is really pretty, and I just do that, and that's it. It is a doddle to put on, it's really fresh on your skin. Um, I'm sick of hearing healthy glow, but that's exactly what it looks like. Oh, another skincare favorite is Oskia London Renaissance Cleansing Gel. This is gorgeous. It comes with a pump. It, you can get it in Space NK, by the way, but you, um, it's like an oily, product, an oily gel that takes off your makeup, but it doesn't leave an oily residue on your skin. And it, your skin is so radiant after it. I highly recommend that. And I actually, I might do a whole skincare video on, on this brand because I'm loving their masks are really, really fantastic. Um, okay, before I get to Mrs. Urban Decay Perversion Super Saturated Ultra Intense Waterproof Cream Eyeliner. That is a mouthful. This stuff is cool. I have it on at the moment. It's really, really, really intense, as it says in the name. Um, really easy to apply, and one, but you have enough time to work with it before it sets. And then it's waterproof, so you can cry your little eyes out and it's okay. Uh, I think these things should say water resistant and not waterproof. I haven't exactly dunked my head under water, but like it, stand, it stands a few tears, you know, if it's windy or that. My favourite nail polish at the moment, besides the one I've on, which is uh, Sotini Bikini, which is here, and I love it, by Essie. But my other favourite is the Barry M Jelly High Shine Nail Paint. And this one is just, 
oh, Rose Hip 402. This is so pretty. I'm really being mindful of anti-aging pro products at the moment. Like if I can buy a makeup product that has an anti-aging component to it, I will. Um, but so one that I've really caught my eye is Urban Decay Primer Potion, but it's in the anti-aging version. So you can apply it to your eyes and it primes them and it makes your eyeshadow look amazing and hold all day and look super pigmented, but it also is anti-aging. And I need some of that at the moment. Okay, um, on to Mrs. Bourgeois Healthy Mix Serum. Um, this doesn't work for me. This looks amazing on loads of people's blogs. <laughs> And I actually Googled it while I was in Boots and because I just, I wasn't sure about the serum part of it. But again, being attracted to the anti-aging component of things, I bought it. Um, and what I realized when I got home was the blogs that I had actually looked up, the some of the images were photoshopped or had been, you know, helped along. Um, and I think that's so unhelpful when you're looking for a foundation review. You want to see all the, you know, all the areas where it clumps and where it dries and so I, I bought it based on a lot of pictures that actually might not have been so trustworthy. Um, but this one just isn't for me. It made me spotty. It went patchy in places. I was like an oil slick in other areas. It was a bit of a miss for me. But I would say that I have quite reactive skin on occasion. Uh, so that is probably why it didn't last. It says it lasts up to 16 hours. I think it might have lasted three on my face and then it just went all over the place. I might try it again in a couple of months when my skin changes and see. Two more products, actually one called Wow and one called Glow. The Topshop Glow. I think this was about 15 euro. Um, and it's like just a, a glow mousse. And I got it in Gleam. The reason it's in a mist pile is because of the price, I expected something like a gorgeous, bronzy, candlelight, candlelit sort of a glow. And that's not what I got. Um, it's, it's just okay. And I've tried highlighters from Essence and Catrice, like really cheap brands that are very similar to this. And I just don't love it. And I know some people really, really like it. So if you have any tips on how you like to wear it, maybe let me know. And another one I'm afraid, which is a bit of a miss, is the 17 Skin Glow, which I think is called a WOW three-way highlighter. And I think you can use it as a primer. Yeah, a primer, you can add it to your foundation or you can just apply it on your cheekbones. I'll apply some on my cheekbones just so you can see. I like a highlighting product that has a sheen and gives, you know, a refreshing brightness to the skin. But this feels frosty to me. I got this lovely, cute, absolutely so cheap little um, play suit um, the other day and I, it's so warm here which is amazing for Ireland so I have been enjoying wearing summer clothes. I have been posting my outfit pictures and things on Instagram and I'm quite new to, new to Instagram. Uh, I've been following people for a long time but I actually have only started to post things properly recently. Um, so come say hi if you're there um, and you'd like to see some more outfit pictures and I'll leave some at the end and I'll try and do that in some videos to make things a little bit more interesting. Um, so thank you for watching everyone and have a lovely evening. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.